if you're tired of reading all of your research articles, I want to introduce you to a new summarizer that I haven't really talked about before called Resumer. And so Resumer allows you to basically input in the article that you're looking to have summarized, and then it runs an analysis to try and compress the text for you so that you're not reading as much information, but still getting the main points from the article. This is different than a lot of other summarizers that will rewrite the article in plain language or try to extract out information and write you a paragraph or something like that, where it's easy for like an AI summarizer to inject incorrect information into its summary. So I want to show you how to use this new kind of summarizer that's actually just reducing the amount of text that you need to read. So I'm going to do this on the same article I've done most of these tutorials on, and this is my first published paper. And what I find is that Resumer works best when it's working from an actual PDF source and not just like the URL that you're actually going to to get the PDF. So I'm going to come in here and all I have to do is paste my URL. in. Now, if you can't find a URL to be able to paste in, you can just paste in the full text as well. And I just have to click this Resumer button to then generate the summary. So now that it's generated the summary, you can see that the text was reduced to 41%. So if I just read this summary instead of reading the article, I'll read less than half of the actual article. So I save about half the time if I'm doing that. So this is part of the abstract that it took. This work is aimed at the further development of IMS separation. It has a section from the introduction, a section about clinical research, and then it says several types of iMobility have been applied. This is all, again, the introduction information in here, and it kind of takes information mainly from previous literature that's been done and includes that in here as well. This is now the method, so it's talking about solution preparation. It's talking about the type of experiment that was done, and then the calculations that were done. And then this is where the results start. So it's kind of giving you like the first part of a sentence and then giving you the information in here. And then you can see that the results continue here. And if we go into the second page, it's going to reanalyze really quick. And it continues on here. You can see collision cross-section measurements and conclusion. Now, what I like is this is actually taking it from the actual text. It's not rewriting it. And so the accuracy, you're actually getting the author's words instead of something that is rewritten the author's word. Whenever you first run this summary, it's going to set the summary to automatic. But the other one that I think can also be really helpful for you is to do the text analysis. So what this does is it shows you the entire article and then it highlights the sentences that are actually going to be useful and actually are generated into that summary. So if you want to keep the entire article together, this is one way to be able to do that, but then only have to read the highlighted section. It's kind of like an automatic highlighter for you to take out what is actually going to be really important for you to know versus kind of the extra information. Now, what is nice about this is if you kept it like this, you can have this highlighted section, but then you can see here it's taking out the actual names of the articles in the introduction whenever I'm going through the background literature information. So you can get those components added back in, and you can see all of the additional information as well with the main parts just being highlighted. So now that you've generated this summary, you may want to actually have a better way to be able to use it. And so what you can do is if you come down to the bottom of your summary, you're gonna see that there's different kind of tabs here that you can use. So one, you can display the URL of the summary. So basically you can share this summary out to other people. If you click on this, it's going to make sure what you actually want this to be. And then if you click next, it's actually going to create this. So if I just copy this and create it and go to it, you can see it's already bringing in this link here and the text analysis. So that's a way for you to be able to share it out to other people or have it so that you can come back to it if you want to come back to the site and maybe try a different thing. You already have the link stored there. The other things you can do is actually download it for yourself. So a couple different ways that are really good is you can download it as a PDF or as a doc. So if I download it as a doc, you can see it comes in here and it 
contains that highlight still. So this is kind of the article in its entirety with the highlighted portions as well. So if you wanted to be able to store this in a Notion or upload it to something else, you can do that as a document or if you want to take notes in here. The other way that's going to be really helpful for you is as a PDF. So if I click as a PDF, it will actually generate this PDF and it still contains those highlighted features. So you can still look at it as the highlighted features of the article. But one thing to note is with either the document or the PDF, it's only actually exporting out the current page. So you can see that this PDF is going to end right here on the resolution of steroid isomers down here. So if I want the second page, I actually need to go to the second page and then get a PDF of that as well. So you can see here is that PDF generated of the second page that has the final part to it. You can always combine these PDFs together after the fact, or you could add them to something like Zotero or Notion and just access them as you need them. The final thing I do want to show you is if you want to actually upload a document, there is an import document here where you can select your PDF or even a document or text file here to be able to upload it instead of having to always find a link to it or paste in the text. If you're struggling with figuring out which articles to even run this on, get my 30-day research jumpstart guide. It's a simple guide that walks you through how to learn your field, find research articles, and develop research ideas from those articles. I will leave two videos up here that are other summarizers that you can use. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel to learn how to become more efficient in your research. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.